Hi crafty friends. I'm just having a bit of a play with one of our new sets, the lovely borders. So what I've done is uh, stamp them and this one is the only one that doesn't have a matching die. I just thought I'd stamp it anyway. So that's that one. And I've sent them in just a variety of different colours to see how they um, die cut. So we're going to do that now. I'm just going to cut them. I think I'll cut them just in here. Leave a little bit of space so hopefully they'll be long enough for the dies. And this one here. Take out my matching dies match them up this is going to be fun because they're not uh i'm sure they'll i'm sure they'll match up easily <laughs> but uh, i haven't rehearsed this at all <laughs> i'm going to try and get this whole magnetic sheet out but it is quite fixed in it's quite tight no it's, i don't think it's going to come out but that's okay we'll just take all of these out instead there's quite a few in this packet so let's see how we go. So I've got this one here, which uh, that was easy to line up, wasn't it? Easy to find it. I've just stamped this one in a sage. No rhyme or reason. Just uh, picked out some colours and went for it. And we've got the heart one. It's a bit close to the other one, so I might leave it for the second run through. I've got this one here, which I didn't do a very good job job stamping that one, but that's okay. Just plain, and we'll line this one up a bit better than that. Bit of washi tape that I've got hanging about up there. Stick that one down. I might try and move it across. We've got this one here. which is here, a bit more washi tape hanging about up there, I've stamped these, these two are stamped in um, raspberry and this one was wisteria which I'll cut it out later, um, I might have room for one more narrow one, let me see, I can fit this scallop border I reckon here, um, get them apart, and a bit more washi tape so when i was stamping these i actually um was using the sponge side of my versamat and i just pretty much uh dropped them down onto the versamat spongy side to let them um realign and get them straight um so Usually when you do that, you can then marry them up or they, they will marry up really well with the, the actual thin cut and you uh, they won't be bent, in other words. So let's see what we've got. Stick those up there for now. I usually do stick them on the side of my cutting machine. Okay, that's the little borders. Didn't line that up very well. We'll have a better look at these in a minute. We'll just get them off the platform. That's the diamonds. Bit of an art deco look, that one. Don't mind that at all. And this little one. Hmm, I did not line that up either very well. Maybe I rushed it too much. And this little one here in the sage. It's very pretty, that one. And then we're going to go and do our little hearts. I do have some others here, so I'm going to quickly, I'll quickly snip these apart. I might just cut a bit of the excess off. I don't think I'm going to get the last three all on the one platform, but we'll have a little look. So I did stamp this one twice, so there you go. It's the same one, so I'll have to cut one and then come back and cut the other make I'll try and get a better cut on this one don't know why the others didn't cut so well when I get new dies um, you know 
maybe it's a case of just getting used to the actual dye itself or maybe I did just rush it and they didn't line up it's more than likely I probably didn't get my head over it enough I wish I should get my head over this <laughs> so sometimes the the um, dyes can be faulty or that your stamps can be faulty it's very rare but Toast to My Heart is amazing and they do replace anything that's faulty. Um, yeah, they are really amazing. So let's see. So some, like this one, I thought I had this lined up really well. So some of them, they do need a bit of a knack to lining them up. Um, I can see here I've got the die too high on that side. Could have come down a bit. So this side lined up not too bad but I can see how it's run it's running up so that needs a bit of practice I took my time with this one I'll see if I did a good job yeah so that's a heap better that's a really good one so that lined up really well so now I'll cut this one I reckon it goes that way I didn't even take notice of whether it was whether it was um up the right way or not and did I have another one to cut or did I do it I did it that was the heart wasn't it I think I might put I moved it so I might just put another piece of washi tape on the perfectionist in me <laughs> is us he's telling me to stamp out some more but um, it's it's not that early in the night um it's not late but it's oh, i don't want to be up too late tonight um that one's not too bad a little bit out on this end but otherwise pretty good so yes i don't want to re uh stamp the ones that i've messed up i might have another go at those tomorrow because what i want to do is actually that i think cuts fancy borders i want to have a try this one before I go to bed tonight so that's these ones I'm going to pick some cardstock and have a little play with these I think I might just pull them out it's going to be much easier than trying to get that all back in the packet but um, it's all there ready when I need to um, slide them back in the pack my well loved platform I am going to just pick some random cardstock. Let me see. I might pick, let me think, what have I got? I've got Ballerina. Pretty soft pink. I think uh, that would look lovely for the hearts. So I'm going to do that one. This is just a piece out of my scraps. I'm going to do one of those. So the awesome thing about these two is that I, even though they're probably about six inches long, I haven't measured them, but I'm guessing, yeah, they're just over six inches long. So I can make these into uh, 12 inch um, die cuts um, to make a good solid, um, like a full 12 inch strip for a whole scrapbooking page i'm going to try this one and maybe put it's not wide enough not wide enough and that one won't be wide enough either nope too scalloped too much of a scallop in it so i'll get out another thicker piece how do you store your scraps i keep my colored scraps all in um, the same pack as the coloured cardstock that way if um, I need a certain size I just go to my packet so I have one one colour per packet and then I go to so I go to my packet and um, say for this one I just went to my packet of um, ballerina and I had a look at the different scraps I had whoops that's not going to go that way had a look at the scraps I had to see what I could get out of them. So I'm not going to do it this way. I'm actually going to put spacing between them. 
just might do that and stick them in place with some washi. I could use my magnetic platform, you know, but I never think to get it out of the cupboard. Um, I just don't. In fact, I don't even know where it is. So I was just getting ready, thinking of going off to bed, and I had this little, little voice calling me to my craft room. <laughs> and I thought, I'll just, I'll just quickly um, have a little play because I've just pretty much unpacked these and had a bit of a look at them. It might have been, I don't know when they arrived, but they've been sitting on my desk and I thought, oh, I need to do something with them. I need to have a play. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. So pretty. And this one, lovely little pierced, little pierced, so little dots and little, little piercing on this one as well. Tiny, tiny little hearts and a scallop and this beautiful stitched border. How gorgeous. So I'll cut those apart in a minute. And that one, I'll cut that apart. All these pretty little hearts. You know, they would make pretty confetti, wouldn't they, for a shaker card? So I'll put those all aside. I'm going to cut this other one that I haven't done. So I'm just going to take my big scissors for now. No, I'll get another piece because you know why? I might decide to turn those into 12 inch ones. So this one is another little, uh, another little stitched edge, more of a wavy edge. So I'm going to put that one in the middle and see how that goes. I didn't line it up very well, but that's okay just a bit of testing there we are it's lined up not too bad I suppose I could go and make it into a 12 inch strip how pretty and this one how gorgeous and this one you could definitely use the a little scalloped edge that I'm cutting off as well so you could use that okay could use both of those very cute just poking out the little hearts They're all just falling all over my desk and then all these little pieces come out too all over my desk <laughs> oh, I need a little mini vac little mini vacuum cleaner to clean up <laughs> just poking out these little pieces a couple on the back so there you are so I'm not going to cut them as such that one I can but what I think I might do is turn them into 12 inch strips for um, scrapbooking pages. I'm not really sure. What will I do? It's got the better of me. I'm going to cut them into their, yeah. I'm just going to do that because I'm probably going to use them on cards before I use them on scrapbook pages. Now this one here, I think... I definitely will cut that through the middle because it's um these are two separate ones obviously so they yeah they're going to be better off um cut when I die cut them I would probably cut them on a narrower strip um so that I didn't have to cut them down after die cutting so just snip these ones apart as well that one that one all right and there's that one okay so I'm just gonna going to put my die cutting machine away my very old tried and true and trusted sturdy 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 um big shot machine 
not cheap to purchase these days but um, the investment at the time was well and truly worth it i've had it for oh probably 15 years for sure okay so i've got my um fiscus trimmer i'm just going to trim these down so i can show you more closely what they are like okay that one cut this one through the middle i reckon going to be difficult to get that one to stop moving I might turn it around that way so I would recommend pre-cutting a strip of cardstock for this one so you don't have to go through what I'm going through trying to line it up ah that's so pretty so that's a top border and that one could be a top or you could have it hanging down so at the bottom okay you could put that along the bottom as well I suppose yep um there you go so just to bring back in my versa mat which is a nice dark surface so you can see these are all the borders. So these ones are the fancy borders. Okay, five in that packet. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. That's one. Um, now, this one you could use um, here as a scallop, just a scallop border without stamping on it. So that was out of the other set, which is the fancy, sorry, the lovely borders. Okay, so that one um, is for stamping, but as you can see, that makes a really nice um a really nice scallop let me see if it will fit with this okay so yeah you could you could use those um together i reckon you could get away with that with some careful positioning behind to get um that behind you could even move it up and give it a double edge so that's always something you could do okay so that's you're getting extra use out of that uh that scalloped edge from that other set so when you use it in conjunction with the fancy borders the other one i thought of is this one here um it could be uh, just a colored border on its own or you could do doodling on it um that one which is the hearts you could doodle on that it's not so clear what that is but you can you can see that hearts you could freehand some hearts on there yep just checking i'm in camera view yeah and these ones don't look anything much from the other side but there you are just a quick look at the fancy borders and the lovely borders stamps and thin cuts and uh, yeah hope you enjoyed having a little sticky beak at those bye